you've strolled along South Congress over the past couple of years, you've probably noticed some changes. Today we're looking at some of the new places that have made their way to Austin's iconic avenue. Tierney Baum is live at what's called Music Lane with a look. I've never heard of this, Tierra. Good morning, Leslie. Well, if you stroll down South Congress, you can't miss it. This is an eat, shop, play destination. And Roger, for somebody like Leslie who's not heard of Music Lane, what are you guys all about? What is this? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we envisioned Music Lane as sort of an extension of South Congress Avenue north towards downtown. And so, you know, what I hope you'll find is, you know, architecture that's really engaging and interesting, and then also a really carefully curated sort of mix of retailers, restaurants, places to work out, places to hang out, and then also from time to time you'll see us holding events here in this uh, plaza area. And Jill, you are with Man Ready Mercantile. You guys are a Houston-based spot, but you've chosen Austin as your only other location. Why did you guys choose Austin, and what can people find in there? Yeah, absolutely. So obviously we knew we wanted to stay here in Texas. Um, we've done pop-ups here over the years and we just love the customer base. You know, we love the relationships that we were able to form through those events and, you know, Music Lane and being, you know, a part of South Congress and it's just so charming here. That's just the cherry on top and to be able to represent Texas, you know, as a Texas-based company in the midst of Music Lane, you know, it's so exciting and such an incredible opportunity for us. But um, yeah, as you can see, we have an array of things. We've got some barn pantry goods. We've got candles, we've got, you know, local cookbooks. Um, some standouts that we make right here in Texas are our hand poured candles. These are poured in reusable whiskey glasses. If you're like me and you don't drink whiskey, any cocktail will do. Um, all of which make for some pretty amazing Father's Day gifts. So definitely something to keep in mind for next month. Oh yeah, absolutely. Swing by, that's coming up quick. And Barney, two hands, it's uh, one of the first Aussie cafes in Austin. And you guys chose Austin. Uh, as the only other location uh, uh, than New York. So why Austin and what can people find at Two Hands? Uh, yeah, I mean, we chose Austin because it has a very similar um, sort of weather to Australia. Um, great opportunity came up and we and we jumped on it. Um, two Hands, you know, we take that Aussie cafe approach to the Two Hands food. Um, fresh, vibrant, healthy twist on, on a food. Um, we also, you know, serve our famous flat whites from, from Australia. Um, yeah. So another great stop. So we've got some shopping, some food, and Roger, how did you guys really curate the businesses and, and try to keep this as local as possible? Uh, how, did you, how did you pick out these spots? Yeah, absolutely. So many of these tenants were already super popular among Austinites, right? You could see that from their online sales, but having the physical presence here was huge for them because it allowed them the ability to really interact with that customer base, with the community on a more personal level. Where can people find more information on just what makes up Music Lane and in the different businesses within this? I think you have to just come and check it out. Okay, that's a great, yeah. great response there. I love that. Just come check it out live along South Congress this morning. Music Lane, you can shop, you can eat, you can just hang out, enjoy kind of the vibes out here. It's a lot of fun. So, uh, Leslie, we'll send it back to you. All right, definitely not the same South Congress we know. It's changing. Thanks, Tara.